consider the figure below. We have this figure, we have two line and transversal line N is intersecting this two line. And from this we have 1, 2, 7, 8, 5, 6, 10, and 9 angles. Now let's see the questions. Which of the following are alternate interior angles? Now, here, before we answer these questions, let's understand something. We have these two lines, and this line is intersecting the both lines. So now, we have here angles between the two parallel lines will be interior and angles outside this two line will be exterior exterior okay now here alternate interior angle will be interior here and it will be angle 2 and angle 5 it's alternate interior and angle 1 and angle 6 is alternate interior okay so alternate interior it would be angle 2 and angle 5 or angle 1 and angle 6 okay now corresponding angles so for corresponding angles it will be the angle one from interior and one from exterior in the same side so we have 2 and 10 so for corresponding corresponding angles one interior and one exterior and the and the one side so for example we have two angle 2 and angle 10 we have angle 6 and angle 8 angle 6 and angle 8 we have also angle 7 and angle 5 angle 5 and angle 7 we have angle 1 and angle 9 angle 1 and angle 9 this is for corresponding angles and this one for alternate interior angles okay what about interior angles interior angles will be the angles inside these two lines in the same time we have the same side for example I have for let's change here we have for interior angle I have angle 2 and angle 6 and I have angle 1 and angle 5 okay now angle 1 and angle 8 angle 1 Now, let's make this one. I have angle 1 and angle 8 are called vertical angles. Angle 1 and angle 8. Angle 2 and angle 7. Vertical angles. Angle 5 and angle 10. And angle 6 and angle 9. Okay? Now let's see here now we have which of the following are alternate interior angles. Alternate interior angles it will be 2 and 5. 106, we don't have it, so it will be this one. For this figure, we have three lines intersecting each other. Let's see here which of the following is true. Select all that apply. Angle 1 this is angle 1 and angle 5. And angle 5 are alternate interior angles no it's not alternate interior angles it's interior angles only not alternate okay now angle 1 okay we have angle 1 and angle 6 and angle 6 are corresponding angles yes one interior and one exterior yes that's the right answer now angle 3 and angle 10 and angle 10 are corresponding angles no, it's not right answer. Angle 2, this is angle 2. Angle 7, what is angle 7? This is angle 7. 
are corresponding angles. No, they are not a corresponding angles. Wrong answer. Now, angle 6 and angle 7 are alternate interior angles. Yes, they are, are alternate interior angles. And angle 2 and angle 7 are alternate interior angles. Yes, they are. Right, because this is the two lines and this is the transversal for them. So yes, this angle and this angle will be alternate interior angles. Okay. Pick the line that is not parallel to either of other two. So here, let's see the slope of each line. If it's equal, it will be the, that means it will be parallel. So for example, this slope for this one, by default, the slope here will say, here we have, let's rearrange this equation. So we'll have 4y will be equal to 3 x minus 12, divide by 4, divide by 4, divide by 4. So the slope here will be this one. It will be 3 over 4. Now for this one, we'll have 8y equal to 6x minus 2, right? Divide divide by 8, divide by 8, divide by 8. So this one by 2 equal to 4, by 2 equal to 3. So these two, slo two slopes are equal. So these two lines are, are parallel. So that means this line will not be back. Now, here, pick the line that is not perpendicular to each of other. Let's see this one. The slope of this one it will be, let's arrange it, so it will be minus 4 equal to minus 3 x, divide by minus 4, divide by minus 4, so the slope here will be 3 over 4. Now, let's take this one, we have 4y will be equal to minus 3x minus 2 divide by 4, divide by 4, divide by 4. So the slope here will be minus 3 over 4. So this will never, and we have the perpendicular here, slope 1 multiply slope 2 equal to minus 1. So if we multiply each together, it will not be right. So let me see this, the last one. So we have 3y equal to minus 4x minus, uh, plus 1 divide by 3, divide by 3, so it will be equal to minus 4 over 3. So if we multiply this slope with this loop, we'll get minus 1. So that means this line and this line will be perpendicular. So this will be the answer. This line is not perpendicular. And if we multiply each of the slope, any of this loop with slope number 2, it will be equal to 1. So that means this line will not be perpendicular. Select the two lines that are parallel from the five lines whose equation are given below. Now we need to know which line is parallel to each other. So here, let's see the slope of this one. The slope here is equal to 2. Now 2y, 2x, divide by 2, divide by 2. So here the slope is equal to 1. 4y equal to x, divide by 4, divide by 4. So the slope here will be 1 over 4. And this one divide by 2, divide by 2, though, so the slope will be 2 here. And divide by 4, divide by 4, so the slope will be 1 over 2. So these are the two answers are correct. Select the two perpendicular, two perpendicular, that means slope 1 multiply slope 2 equal to minus 1. So let's see the slopes here. We have here, let's arrange this one. So 2y will equal to 4x plus 1. Divide by 2, divide by 2, so the slope here will be equal to 2. This one, we have y will equal to minus 2x plus minus 3. So the slope here is minus 2. This one, we have 4y will equal to 2x minus 11. Divide by 4, divide by 4. So the slope here is 1 over 2. If we multiply it by minus 2, it will be minus 1. So these two lines are right. So the other lines will not be perpendicular. 
because here we will have the slope here it will be minus 1 over 4 and this line this one will be minus 1 the slope so it will not work so only these two lines are perpendicular given that a and m are equidistant equidistant from b and c equidistant from b and c so that means this line is perpendicular to bc okay now here so that means that sc equal to bs and mp equal to mc and ac equal to ap okay now here let's find which one is the true s is not a midpoint of bc no s is a midpoint so wrong answer am this is the am is a perpendicular bisector of bc yes right answer cm cm this is cm is perpendicular to bisector perpendicular bisector of ab no wrong answer cm is the angle bisector of angle ACB? No, it's not angle bisector. And BM is an altitude to M triangle MBC. MBC. No, this is wrong answer. Refer to the figure below. We have T is a transversal. To line M and N, transversal line to N, that means that this line intersecting the two lines in one point, this here point and this point. Now, here, then which of the following is a pair of corresponding angles? Corresponding angles means one interior angle and one exterior angle are corresponding angles. So let's see, one angle one and angle five. We have angle one here, it's exterior, and angle five, yes, this is right answer, there's a corresponding. Angle 2 and angle 6, this is angle 2 and angle 6, no, it's not corresponding angle. Angle 3, this is angle 3, and angle 5, also it's not a corresponding angle. And we have angle 7, we have angle 7, and angle 3, yes, it's a corresponding angle. Okay? Refer to the figure below, if T is a transversal to line M and N, this is line T, okay. Then which of the following is a pair of alternate interior angles? Alternate interior angles, okay, let's see. Now we have angle one, we have angle one, and angle five, no. It's corresponding angle, not, inter not alternate interior angles. Two and six, we have two and six. Yes, this is interior angles because the angles inside the, between the two lines and two and six. So this is the right answer. Three and five, we have three and five. Yes, also this is alternate interior angle. Angle seven and angle three, this is angle seven, angle three. No, this is a corresponding angle, not alternate interior angles. Refer to the figure below, we have this figure, if T is a transversal, T is a transversal, to line L and M, L and M, okay, then the pair of corresponding angle, here let's see, 1 and 8, we have 1 and 8, no, wrong answer, 1 and 5, we have 1 and 5, 1 interior, 1 exterior, yes, that's the right answer, 3 and 5, 3 and 5, this is alternate interior angle, wrong answer. 8 and 2, we have 8 and 2, wrong answer. 4 and 5, 4 and 5, no, this is interior angle in the same side. So this is wrong answer, okay? So the only answer is this one. Refer to the figure below, if M is a transversal to the line S and T, okay? Then pair of corresponding angle, corresponding angle it will be 8 and 4, 5 and 1, 3 and 7, 2 and 6. So let's see, one angle 1 and angle 3, angle 1 and angle 3. No, this is vertical angles. So this is not a right answer, this is vertical angles. 2 and 5, we have 2 and 5. This is interior angles, interior angles, same side. Okay, now angle 3 and angle 5, this is alternate 
interior angle and 3 and 7 we have 3 and 7 yes this is a corresponding angle 4 and 6 we have 4 and 6 no this is not right if T is a transversal to line L and M then the pair of corresponding angles we can have 6 and 2 3 and 7 1 and 5 and 4 and 8 okay oh, angle 1 and angle 2 and angle 8 angle 1 and this angle 8 wrong answer angle 1 and angle 5 yes angle 3 and angle 5 no this is alternate interior angle 8 and angle 2 wrong answer we have angle 4 and angle 5 this is interior in the same side if you do the figure below of L is a transversal to the line LMN then a pair of interior angles on the same side so it will be 4 and 5 or 1 or 6 because these interior angles so 1 and 8 wrong 1 and 5 wrong 3 and 5 wrong and we have angle 4 and angle 5 or angle 1 and angle 6 are both of them are interior angles on the same side of the transverse okay now given the above the figure above which of the following is true angle 7 this is angle 7 and angle 10 and angle 10 are corresponding angle no this is not the right answer angle 5 an angle 10 corresponding angles no this is alternate interior angle angle 1 and angle 9 are alternate interior angle wrong answer this is wrong answer also angle 2 and angle 5 are alternate interior angle no this is a line per angle so this is 180 now angle 5 and angle 8 angle 5 and angle 8 are corresponding angle this is the right answer Fill in the plank with the correct digit relatives to line M and N. We have line M and N with a transversal R. This is the transversal R. Angle 3, we have angle 3, make a pair of alternate interior angles, so angle 2, angle 3, and angle 2. Now, relative to line M and N with transversal R, angle 4 make a pair of co-interior angles this is angle 4 and angle 3 this is interior co-interior okay now relative to line l and n l and n okay we have angle 5 make a pair of corresponding angle angle 5 corresponding angle one interior one exterior to 4 so 5 and 4 okay if you to the figure below to answer the questions which the following must be true, select all that apply and enter the labels in the same order they appear, ascending order, enter, enter the labels without any space or commas. Now, angle 2 and angle 3. We have angle 2 and angle 3 are alternate interior angles for line N and line L, and we have our intersecting them. Yes, this is the right answer. This is inter alternate interior angle. Angle 2. And angle 5 are alternate interior angle. This is angle 2 and this is angle 5. Wrong answer. Angle 1 and angle 2 are alternate interior angles. No, they are vertical angles. So this is wrong answer. Angle 4 and angle 2 are corresponding angles. Yes, interior and exterior. These two lines. Yes, right answer. Now angle 1 and angle 5 are co-interior angles. This is the wrong answer.